when it start to rain That mean my database is getting more information from outer space Alright, last take, take one Hey, what's up, this, I said take one, fucking guard dog Hey, what's up, this is Marlon, aka Sherlock Homie This channel, these videos are for one group of people One group of people The Sherlock Homies, if you don't have this book This channel is not for you this video is not for you. Lifetime membership, Sherlock Homie. You need my book. The Edict of My Lines. It's a journal about my thoughts and rituals every day of the year, two pages per day. Oh, you can stay if you're an affiliate too. If you're an affiliate, just send me a, a letter, send me a text, send me an email. Donate $1 in the last 30 days. You're a Sherlock affiliate. So if you're not a Sherlock Homie, you're not a Sherlock affiliate, you got a bounce partner. We don't care about views. We don't care about subscribers. We don't care about likes. We care about Sherlock homies. Until next time, people. Oh, back to this dumbass video. Are you fucking kidding me, man? You know what? You know what? Okay. As soon as I woke up, it was woke up about like 7 o'clock in the morning, right? I said, man, I'm going to get a whole day in. I was like, man, you woke up early enough. Uh, take care of the Sherlock homies. Make a video. I was like, man, I made all the videos so I can get back to my life. Like, uh, this ain't popping no more. I gotta, uh, get sturdy in my new lane. So I was like, nah, I'll make a video, right? So I said, if I make a video, I'm hitting that gas. Where that, where that joint at? I'm hitting that gas. Where that joint at? Fuck that. So I hit that motherfucking joint. That shit made, activated my brain. And I just started talking my ass off. That's what I said. I just started talking my motherfucking ass off. So... I was like a minute and a half into this video. It was already at like 15 to 20 minutes. Like, man, I'm talking my ass off. Let me pause this shit and get back focused on the case. So I pause it, do my little commercial break. Come back, get into the groove. But now I'm cooking. These stories is coming. I'm cooking now. I'm Marlon cooking. Talking about shit that not even connected but connected. I was like, man, I talked my ass off again. Let me go back. Let me reset. So I'm up. 40 minutes in, I need to reset because I'm only 5 minutes into the video. So I finally uh, get a, a good 15, 20 minutes in, right? Uh, right? So I'm about like an hour and a half uh, into it. And I'm cooking, talking my ass off. I say, hey, my life, damn, homie. You talking your ass off today. You already an hour in. You got high as hell when you hit that little bullshit joint, didn't you? I said, yeah, I'm online because, you know, uh, I'm fucking with my levels. Or as a, I'm a cheap ass. If you want to save some money, all you got to do is stay away from something for a while. And it takes less of that to get you uh, fucked up. So, uh, yeah. Long story short, I was kicking ass like, damn, you talk your ass off. But you high as hell. I was like, man, I am not high. I only hit that joint like four times. It just relaxes me, and that's my real personality, blah, blah, blah. I said, no, nah, you was high. Like, fuck that, I'm not high. So I made the decision. That wasn't high, it just that's who I am. So I said, man, let me finish this up. I go look. The fucking microphone has been off that whole time. I said that to say, yeah, I was high. So I got to go back. Because I'm not giving up. I hate taking L's. I got to go back and redo this. So this is not going to be as good. I was cooking the other one. Y'all should have saw me. I was, ooh, bam, bam. Word phrase. Double entendre. Backflip. Great point. Kicking ass. Ooh, I see what you did there. I was in my bag, people. <laughs> but the mic was done. So we just going to go back. I guess it's going to be, let's just get through this now. Uh, these lying ass bitches. Uh playing a game imaginary game so i will go back and try to uh if i remember some of the cool things i said i will try to make points but we're just gonna go through this now on prime crime she says she's having trouble breathing she said she was stabbed multiple times it's the attack on a young girl that left the nation stunned as the details became more apparent in our investigation it's, it's extremely disturbing is a supernatural force to blame we think we fear sometimes it didn't feel like anything. It was like air. And what can happen next may surprise you. She poses a significant risk of bodily harm to herself, others, or to property.
there, everybody. I'm Jesse Weber, and welcome to Prime Crime. This is where we do a deeper dive into the most high-profile and memorable true crime cases. You know, there are a lot of motives to kill, but this one is unlike any other. What's the address of your emergency? Walk Star County, my name is over a caller on Big Bend. May 31st, 2014, Waukesha, Wisconsin. A terrifying 911 phone call is about to start one of the strangest crime stories in modern American history. You came upon a 12-year-old female. She appears to be stabbed. She appears to be what? Stabbed. A man named Greg Steinberg is out bicycle riding when he discovers a young girl bleeding on the side of the road. She said she's having trouble breathing. She said she was stabbed multiple times. You know, the nature of this crime scene was particularly horrific. You know, our victim was stabbed in the arms and the legs and many times in the abdomen. There were 19 stabbing motions. I mean, that the nature of this crime scene is just very, very violent. The victim is Peyton Leitner. She'd been attacked in the nearby woods, but was able to muster up enough strength to crawl out. She said she could take shallow breath. She's alert. And she didn't say who did this or how it happened. I don't know. Okay, this is how much I was lunching the one that wasn't recorded. I'm at a minute and 48 seconds in this video. I was already 25 minutes into my last video when I got to this point. So I'm just I'm just going. I'm cheating now. I'm floating through this because I just got through knocking it out the park. I just didn't want to be a quitter. I'm going to get through this case and make a couple points. We're going to get out of here. I'm just trying to bank. Can't take no L. I recorded an hour and a half video with the mic off. What the fuck? We talked. I started to ask. Okay. And then... That's okay. Peyton is rushed to the hospital where doctors frantically try to save her life. Miraculously, despite her extensive injuries, Peyton survives. She missed death by millimeters. I mean, one of the stab wounds just barely okay. missed her heart. Largely. This is the point. I got to get out. It, it don't even match up with the. It don't even fucking match up with what's going on. I just got to say it because I can't wait to the park to get up to say it. I'm going to say this. This shit. I'm going to say this. It don't match up. But you know what I'm talking about because it always happens. I'm new to this. Like, I'm new to, uh, I live, I've been living in my own world since I remember my world. Like, my world has never really been a society world. That makes, I guess I'm trying to say, uh. How I think and how I am always ruled my mind. So things that you give society credit for, you can't give me credit for. Because if it didn't match up with what I thought was interesting or what I was doing, no, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. So I say that to say I be in my own world so much, but I know what I'm paying attention to. And so uh, I'm telling you guys, I never really paid attention to the court system as far as details. I really don't, uh, never thought it was interesting. I never looked into the details. So I'm kind of new to this, so I'm gathering data fast. And I will give you guys a printout of early, early results. Man, the court system wasn't uh, made for white people. I'm not going to get sidetracked because I just want to, I'm trying to bank this as a victory, but I'm going to say this, man. Correct me if my numbers is wrong. It's pretty close, but I think I might be right. I think they so-called freed the slaves in 1845. I think the prison system started in 1846. Meaning, before they freed the slaves, there was no such thing as prison in America. And then as time went by, correct me if I'm wrong, they used to round up black people once the prison system was established to correlate with harvesting time to go back and work the plantations. Then their most sentences would end during the winter you, so the uh the prison population correlated with the harvesting of slave work at the beginning i say that to say this get into it prison system wasn't made for white people when you go to, when you 
when you go to jail as a white person, you really fucked up. You're either a fucking redneck or a crazy person. That's not the case in my uh, uh, community. Uh, y'all little boo boos get us locked up. Like, y'all, 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 prison wasn't made for white people. And I'm noticing every time it's kind of iffy. If you, ain't no iffy, if you black, you going to jail. Iffy is jail, motherfucker. Iffy, jail. Good person, guilty, jail. But everything matters. Everything matters. So I told y'all. I told y'all all my videos are deleted. So uh, I was saying there's uh, <laughs> there's three levels. You gotta understand. You gotta understand which level you is in the court system. Like as a no matter what color you are, there's three ways to go. You know what I mean, just three ways to just that's three courtrooms in there. You and you gotta realize what level you on. No, I'm trying to, cause I be pulling shit out my ass. I'm trying to articulate what was I talking about when I talk about what are the three levels. You know I mean, uh, oh, okay. See, this is I don't write this shit down. I just be turning on the camera talking. But I was banking on my thoughts. That's why I'm, I bank. I be banking on my thoughts, and my thoughts was in my little catalog because I don't write this shit down. I just be talking. So I was talking about the three levels of the courtroom for everybody. You got average. This is perception. Average is perception of society. You got average, below average, and above average. And I have noticed the court judge you accordingly, no matter who you are in that case. So uh, you got to know, you got to know which level you are on. Even like, for instance, I give you a perfect example. Uh, I got in trouble like uh, once in my life. Well, like I was in a courtroom once in my life, but I don't know. I don't do jail. I don't do jail. No, no, I don't know nothing about no jail. Uh, what I'll say. Oh, but you know what? That's when I found out as a black male, I'm on the third level. I never even, like I didn't I didn't realize as a black as a black man, I've been on the third level for a while. Like for for instance, uh once people realize I'm not a criminal and I'm not a crook, I'm not a thief, they actually pat me on the head like good job. I'm actually a success story. I didn't know I was as a, I have on the on, on black on black males. I'm third tier. I'm above average, officially. I'm above average. Like as a when it, I get pulled over, if the if I ain't been smoking weed and the car smells like weed, I'm bumping Tupac. If they, it don't catch me relaxing, if like as a uh, once the dust settles, I'm third. I'm I'm a third tier uh, black guy, and I didn't know that. And I'm telling y'all this, this is what sucks. I'm damn, I'm doing it again. I'm rambling. That's such a low bar. I'm telling you, that's such a low bar. I'm way like as a, I didn't know I was way over that. Oh, he's okay. Like I'm a I'm a I'm a black star in that tier. Like when, and I say that to say like as a, and I didn't know that because I don't have such low low bars for me. So I give you an example. So the tears, the tears. And you gotta understand which which tier you're on. And I'm noticing you get uh you get uh judged accordingly. So in your little demographics and wherever it may be with the perception and reality, you gotta make it to that third tier. You got you gotta no matter who you are, you gotta make it through that third tier. First tier, niggas and rednecks. That's the first tier. First tier if if society looks at you as a nigga, even when the dust settles, or a redneck, even when the dust settles, that's tier one. Society perception, average middle class, no brainer, average American, that's tier two. Special people move up to tier three, and sky's the limit, depending on how special you are. If you are, and here's how you get to tier three. I'll tell you a secret. Oh, let me go, before I go, let me go back to my point. Prison ain't made for white people. They send white people to prison. If you're iffy, you go to court with a, a after the fact diagnosis and some medicine. That shouldn't work. You should have to be diagnosed before an incident. I have saw so many white people go here and get reversed 
excuses. Oh, now you bipolar. Bitch, you 37. You 37. After you stabbed your husband, now you bipolar? Fuck that shit. Fuck that bitch. Like that. So I have noticed, like, as a, like, they really try hard prison system. Then you go back and study the prison system. Slavery ended in 45. Uh, the prison system started in 46. What a quinky dink. That matches Marlon's thought that the prisons ain't made for white people. So let's get back to these tears. But y'all, so they, they lock up anybody. But I'm just telling you the design. It's not to take your babies away from you. It's to keep crazy people out from society. Black people, it's harvesting time. Uh, tears. You guys got to make it to that third tier. No matter what. Here's how you make it to that third tier. I want you guys to listen closely. Then I'm just going to let this play. Because I'm just trying to. I got like 20 more minutes of this video. I'm just going to let it play. Here's how you make it to that third tier. I want you guys to get a piece of paper. Or just remember what I'm about to say. First, you guys got to understand who you are to society and which demographic you make up and what's your bars in life. I'll say you're uh, if you're white, you have to prove you're smarter. You have to do more smart things to be considered smart than if you was black. If uh, if you're white, you're going to have to have a lot more money before you're considered a success than if you was black. If you're white, they expect you not to have a criminal record. If you're black, this you are expected to have a criminal record. So, first of all, before I tell you how to get to uh, tier three, is you must understand your reality mixed in society. Like, I can autopilot through society. Because now, I can't. I'm not a danger. I don't think I'm a physical danger. Because I walk so slow. People say, oh, man, okay, something, uh, something wrong with his leg. He just did walk a little slow. It's disarming now. Now white people really love me because my uh, quick, my quick, I still beat a motherfucking ass, but my my quick twitch muscles have been uh, dis disabled. My Negro par uh, powers are only if I can grab you. So <laughs> if I can grab you, I'm so uh, I'm I'm more disarming now. And I I wear glasses, but I don't wear glasses. Like I need glasses now from staring at a computer for uh, when I was doing Amazon. For like 12 years straight, I used to stare at a computer for like 15 hours. So my eyes fucked up. But when I wear my glasses, wear my glasses too, and I'm walking slow, I'm, I'm, now I'm disarming. So uh, you got to understand who you are to society. Like I'm an autopilot. Like I've, I've been a success as in with the structure of what society deems my lane. So, uh, and I didn't know I've been in tier three for a while. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know, like, as in uh, my homies, when they used to get pulled over and shit. Man, the police cussed at me, told me do this, told me did that. You know what I mean? Get my black ass out of I can pull up my black man. I don't even think I even heard a cuss word from a, 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 a cop. Period. So, I was saying, understand the lanes society has, the stereotypes and all that. Society has deemed deemed and the requirements deemed for your particular category and it's different it's not just race it's it's hard on the fat ass out here man man y'all don't y'all don't understand okay let me get to my point let me get down i don't even want to finish i just want to make this point and quit now uh okay no i'm not gonna be a punk i'm gonna finish this shit it's supposed to be like i have i'm like two hours invested it's almost time to eat lunch uh okay tears know your sections and that's very important because then you understand uh which tier you are on and uh hold on what the fuck i tell you i tell you one thing uh is this motherfucker i'm looking at this way this motherfucker hit the, if a golf ball hit this motherfucker house man i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna run him over i'm gonna i'm gonna i only get to i'm gonna get in my car and run his ass over like they pointed. I just saw a motherfucking point over here. If if y'all hear a thump, I'm gonna keep my gun right here. I'm not gonna take my gun out the house. I'm gonna go get them keys and I'm gonna run them bitches over. What the fuck? What the fuck? Point at the dude. Point at my house. They got. I stay on If the golf ball hit my house, somebody getting ran the fuck over. See, I'm getting smarter. Before I did this crap shit, I was like, man, I don't go out there and shoot me a motherfucker. I've been going out there with my gun. 
before I realized how this court system stuff worked. Now I gotta, uh, I just, I just gotta hop in my car. See if these fools tripping. <laughs> so they will have me whip out the Oldsmobile, yo punk ass. Oh, it's tears. I'm stupid. Tears. Okay, talk about tears. So you gotta understand the reality of stuff like that. And uh, I know how hard it is on uh, my people. So this is one of the real things that uh, I'm, I can say. I realized I was on tier three is how my treatment officially and unofficially by non-black people. I know I'm on tier three when I look at the reality of my culture, my people, their their state. But in my mind, I don't have that such a, a low bar for, uh, for myself. My whole adult life, I worked for myself. Uh, I had a lot of ups. I had a lot of downs. But my whole adult life, for put, put it this way, for about the last 15, 20 years, I haven't lived in a house under 3,000 square feet. Whole process of 10 new cars through my adult life. New cars, not, not new to me, new cars. So, so, but the only thing is, that's, that, that, that's middle class. If you ain't no millionaire, you're middle class in my mind. So, but I never knew until I started, I had to take a pause and all the stereotypes and stuff, how it's hard and stuff, and they confuse anybody for a nigga. And you, are, you know, if you black, it's different out here. Sometimes people don't get the get a chance to get to know you. But like as a, when the dust settled uh, by the fair treatment I have received, and even I take a step further. That's now we're getting somewhere. Even love have been showed. Like when I was in when I was in uh court, when I went to court, the DA, right? The DA was trying to the DA hooked me up, right? And then the judge said, Nah, we ain't giving him nothing. And that's me taking a deal. To the point where as the DA already hooked me hooked me up. And the judge and the judge Took a said nah, he ain't getting nothing. Then they found out I had to. Then she got mad and they tried to give me something like what 90, 90 days. It went from thirteen years, nothing to ninety days, right? No, it went from thirteen years to like six months or something. I know it was a year. Maybe a year. Maybe they tried, no, I ain't, no, I wouldn't think, no, I would no, you. So it probably was like some six months, right? And Judge was like, nah, homie, he ain't doing that. 90 days, right? I'm, I'm being honest, 90 days, right? So it went from 13 years to six month deal, which was a deal for the uh, fucking, uh, don't, if you break anything over $500, it's, it's a felony. So it was a deal, that was the, the DA hooked me up, right? It's just like, nah, he ain't doing no 90 days, right? Keep following me, right? 90 days. So now, when I go uh, to actually go do my uh, 90 days, nah, you can do it at home. You get work release. So that's three, that's three, that's three hookups in a row where I think uh, the average black person would have been in, would actually would have been in prison because they wouldn't get they wouldn't get the breaks I got. So it went from thirteen years to a year, negotiated to six months, fucked him six months, give him ninety days. He can do it at home. That is a true story. Like as I don't do I don't do jail. So, uh, <laughs> I'm talking shit. Now you do jail, motherfucker. Okay, you talking, you talking shit. On that note, I would say this too. I would say this too. Uh, it, this hit me too recently. Me talking all this shit, right? I have, uh, given up. I have sacrificed a lot, a uh, lot. You motherfuckers better support me. Y'all hear my voice? Y'all some bitches. Y'all don't support me. Y'all ain't supposed to even be looking. You put the judge if you like me or not and move on. If you like me, get down. If you don't like me, move on. So we shouldn't have no in between. This is for people, this is for Sherlock homies. What the fuck was I saying? 
judging, tears. Not nah, damn, I'm all over the place. I'm feeling good though. I'm getting my time in. So I don't give a fuck. So let me keep talking. So I, before I explain to you how to get to the third tier, and I said uh, I'll talk about how I was on the third tier. Oh, uh, oh, this is what I say. Oh, this is a true story because this is why I told you to donate. It hit me, people. Sometimes I'm smart, but you can't give me credit for being smart because I will flip to below average on you real quick. Like, man, I didn't think of that. Like, oh, you said, well, you, you don't know that you get a ticket if you don't cross at the corner. No, I didn't. Like, oh, you dumbass, where you been? Like, like you can't, you can't just run me in autopilot like I know everything because I don't, and I have major gaps in my thinking and major gaps in my knowledge. So, uh. This just hit me recently. You know what? This Sherlock Homeboy shit. You know what happened? I gave up the ability to get in trouble. And it just hit me. I cannot fucking get in trouble. I can't have anything that I can get called on. I have given up the right to fuck up by doing what I do and talking so freely. So I'm not going to even name this after this case. I'm going to get on with my day and handle what I got to handle and realize I'm going to spend the day and realize the responsibility. And you know what? Subconsciously, I knew because when I told you, like, I went from 1738, cutting back. To uh, Patron go, went from hard. I went from blunts and starting this process and hand his cognac 1738 to joints. You know what I mean? Drinking a little bit less. Then I moved on to the light. You know what I mean? Then went down to the little little by little fast forward. I've been I've been acting like I have responsibilities now, slowly but surely since I started this. But it just hit me officially. I can't break the law anymore and get caught not just breaking law I can't I have to watch what I do now I'm not as free as I used to be I I have given up my shit happens alibi cause if I don't this is just a big bomb to explode in my face I, I'm not allowed to trip up like the average person anymore. I have responsibilities. So, uh, that's a lot of shit to give up. That's, that's a lot of shit to give up. That's a lot of, that, that's a lot of shit to give up, man. And you know what? That's not fucking fair. That's not fucking fair, but I know I do now. I know I do now. So the so the more I go with this, the more that's true. So, uh, that's a lot of shit to give up. Do I want to give that up? Let me think. I don't know if I want to give that up. I might have to stop doing these fucking videos. Cause I'm not the I'm not the tap dance type. I'm not the I'm not the I'm not the uh fuck that shit. I like my freedom. I like my freedom. And I, I am a dumbass sometimes. Fuck that. I'm gonna have to stop doing these videos, y'all man. Cause here's why. Cause ain't no check involved. This keeper ain't no fucking check involved. Ain't no chicken involved. Right now, with my videos, I'm averaging, I'm up to almost 900 videos. And, uh, when I'm saying the chicken involved, that's a lot of responsibility. They're taking my time and almost taking, uh, my, my freedom. My freedoms. When I say my freedoms, uh, the blur, the lines get blurred sometimes. You tell me, I gotta stay away from the lines now. I gotta do that for Sherlock. You know what? This might be the last Sherlock video when I'm thinking about that shit. I'm not adding no fucking uh, dynamite to my bomb. I have a silencer. I'm not even on Facebook. I have a silencer, I, right? If I stop doing these videos, I can I can almost run somebody over on purpose. Do that two year bid and nobody know. But now they're gonna give me fifteen years if I run somebody over. Fuck. 
Can't be giving up I get out of jail passes like that. What are you gonna do, my They already took your murder excuse from you. You can't even run the motherfucker over no more. You know that, right? You know you can't do no stupid shit no more. You know that, right? Damn. Fuck. Marco. Y'all gonna get used to y'all gonna get used to y'all get tired of this dumb video. Hey, this is for Sherlock Holmes only. If, welcome to my page. My name is Marlon. This is Marlon Seven Channel. This channel is dedicated for one group of people. We don't count subscribers here. We don't count views here. We don't count likes. We count Sherlock homies. And there's only one way to become a Sherlock homie. You must own this book. The Edict of Marlon. That's my book. It's a daily journal on my thoughts and rituals every day of the year. So if you don't have that book, you're not a real, you cannot be a Sherlock homies. But you can be a Sherlock affiliate. This is how you become a Sherlock affiliate. Okay, right, you send me a letter. Mm. Send me a letter, send me a text, send me an email, donate one dollar. Just one dollar within the last thirty days. You're a Sherlock affiliate. So this channel is only for Sherlock affiliates and Sherlock homies. Everything else don't matter. Now you got a bounce partner. Till next time, people. Thanks for your support. On to this dumbass video. Polo, this is getting out of hand, man. Uh, let's just get through this. She lived because those wounds were just shallow enough that she did not have a heart attack and die right there on the scene. Hours later, police apprehend the assailants. The suspects were located near... I remember this point I said, I was clowning in my video that I made about almost two hours ago when I was supposed to get on with my day and make a quick video and the microphone was off. I said I, the symbolism of make, making him have wings. And I said he looked like uh, uh, Cop Jesus up there. And then I said, well, Cop Jesus, uh, Jesus didn't have wings. Then were his angels. And I said, well, he looks like the devil <laughs> before he fell. Then I gave white people props. I was laughing, had fun, talked for another 15 minutes with the mic off. Then I gave uh, clowning. Then I gave white people their props because in American society, the subconscious uh, brainwashing and priming, I'm from America. In my mind, Jesus, white baby Jesus is white baby Jesus. And I laughed and I had fun. I smoked a little bit more of the joint. And then I was like, uh, I stopped. I said, I got to give white people credit because they they uh, put all these subconscious things. Nobody subconscious images. Everybody know what the alien look like. Well, bitch, you ain't saw no alien. Why everybody draw the same alien? Smart guy. Ask all these sheep to draw an alien. And motherfucker, I bet we start looking for that bitch. Because everybody drove the same fucking thing. How is that possible? How is it possible? There's no more. Aliens don't exist, you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm just joking. This is a different video. This is a totally different video. But ain't nobody around here. I'm stupid. Ain't nobody around here saw no fucking alien. No American has saw an alien. If from from the ruler to the tutor, from people in first grade to the old folks home, give every American a pencil and a piece of paper, and then you will start thinking Marlon is not crazy about what society is as a whole, and it's scary. That's society priming. You guys know the Earth is round because they stuck one in your first grade class. All I see is cartoon images. That's a different video. And that's why all your shit got deleted. Stick to your shit. Okay. I was giving uh I was giving uh white people credit because uh even though they stole Jesus and made him white. And Jesus is white baby Jesus in my mind. I'm gonna give y'all some bail. I'm gonna give y'all props. Because in America subconsciously too, the devil white too. So two motherfucking shay. Cause in my mind and in America's mind the subconscious priming, at least they didn't turn the devil into a Negro. The devil is also white. So touche, white people. That was fair. <laughs> they're I-94, where they're both taken into custody without incident. The identity of the attackers turned out to be as shocking as the stabbing itself. Two 12-year-old girls, Morgan Geyser 
and Anissa Wire, classmates of Peyton. It's, it's extremely disturbing uh, as a parent and as a chief of police. The will to carry out this attack means something is widely amiss that they would engage in that kind of activity. Okay, I said this. Let me look. Point. We'll keep it going. I was talking about this. What I said about this is uh, that's that's bullshit because. Uh, Every action is connected to a thought, and you got this whole society putting subconscious images, which is which our thought is the main games is mass shootings, mass shootings like the video games is mass shootings, which is thoughts, actions are connected to thoughts. So in, in American society where it's filled with violence, you can't be surprised when they connect a thought to action, because all actions are connected to a thought. So let's she's wrong. So let's keep going. And commit a really aggressive heinous crime that just doesn't happen without there being some a red flag indicators and b an explanation for it of some type even more frightening is why the girls did it apparently they were influenced by something they saw online keeping our children safe is more challenging now than in years past the internet can also be full of dark and wicked things you said a character or something? Or? A character that um, is on several different websites. Like a fictional character? Yes. Who was this fictional character? Anissa and Morgan decide to open up to detectives, and they say things that no one saw coming. Um, there's this website called um, the Creepy Box Wiki. Okay. It's full of, like, horror stories that are meant to purposely scare you. And there's one of them called... Slenderman. Slenderman, the mysterious and unsettling horror character depicted as a faceless, elongated figure with multiple. Shut your bitch ass up, you little bitty bitch. I'm about to get on y'all. Now we back. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, my homeboy was doing a fictional character character too. He was watching the O Dog, bitch. While he locked up. My little homie was following a fictional character too that was subconsciously primed into him. Little bitty bitch, you was watching Slender Man. My little homie was watching Minutes to Society. Boys in the Hood. Don't no don't, don't end up like Ricky around this bitch with that bullshit. They always give them these motherfuckers they go to jail they go to jail with a prescription and a and a diagnosis after the fact. Yeah, bitch. My little homie watched Minutes to Society, you watch Slender Man. What's the difference? Nothing. His black ass in jail and they give you a prescription. Tendrils dressed in a dark suit. Although they're in separate interrogation rooms, both Morgan and Anissa provide the same motive for trying to kill Peyton, or whom they called Bella. She has these or that's bullshit. That's bu I'm about to break down why that's bullshit. You know why they have the same story? Because they was playing the same game. I have a great imagination. I can go testify to how the imagination works. And I can... Uh, and I have DRC. I have DRC. Dream, reality, confusion. Been to the doctor about it more than once. I don't take prescriptions. But I do wear Miss Mac socks, and I don't have violent dreams, so it's not a problem. And, um... Morgan said, hey, Anissa, we should be proxies. And I was like, okay. Fuck that. Fuck. I'm going to talk. How would you do that? She said, we have to kill Bella. See? Okay. See? She said, we have to kill Bella. I'm going to break that down. That's why their alibis don't, their stories don't match. Their stories match because they was playing the same game. This sounds like a smarter girl tricked a dumber girl into killing their friend with a imagination and uh, a connected uh, liking to a certain thing I have a great imagination and how you really get your imagination going you start suspending reality you start suspending reality a little at a time and ignoring reality and you double down on the suspension of reality and your imagination just keep going and going and going and once you get somebody to a high enough imaginary, uh, uh, like say for instance, uh, you can now this is gonna that's how you got your don't do not say that inappropriate uh, example. Do not 
do you better fucking not. Okay. I'm saying I know I'm I have a great imagination and I can help you have a better imagination. And I can trick you out your clothes once I get you to a high enough level of of imagination. I'm saying this sounds like somebody used their imagination in this uh, suspension of reality but not articulated. The difference between me and these girls, one girl probably did silently. I always articulate what I'm doing so I don't get lost. But if you start playing this game with me and you don't articulate what you're doing, there's different levels of imagination that changes reality. So we can suspend belief and play this game and we're going to get some Taco Bell, right? And we're outlaws. You get on that road and you do 70 in a 50. And without even knowing it. Cop pull you over. Imagine telling him, we was acting like Bo and Luke Duke at home. And we went to get some Taco Bell. That's why you was doing 135. And you'll be telling the truth. I'm saying this. This is bullshit. All they did is play an imaginary game without without articulating it was imagine, imaginary. And one of the smarter ones used that to kill a friend that did something. Bella did some. One of the girls is gay or it's a boy involved. And they used this imaginary one used this imaginary story to get rid of Bella. But she's not saying nothing. That made that makes the Slender Man story match. Because the her imagination used Slender Man to kill Bella. Okay, and you know why she said that? Like why she said that? Because she had to supposedly prove herself worthy to how many times do you think you stabbed her? I don't know. It happened very quickly. She the one. She the one. She's the one. She's the one that never suspended her belief in reality. She the one that tricked the other girl into leaving reality enough to stab stab up Bella. She knew what she was doing. She's the one. That's a little bitty bitch. She's the one. All I heard was screaming. I said, I'm sorry. This had to happen. And she was like, why am I? I said that it was just, it was necessary. I can't. And it bothers me how close they are sitting. Bothers the fuck out of me. Hey, it almost looked like their legs is touching. I'm, they sitting way too close. I can't explain why. According to the girls, during a slumber party, they lured Peyton out to the woods to play a game, but really intended to murder her. They claimed that if they didn't do this for Slender Man, he would kill them and their families. We think we see him sometimes. Okay. Like when we were walking up to where, to where we were going, I saw him out of the corner of my her. eye on the side. They, they tricked, he, uh, she, might, she might have been on the bus with me. She might be a little slow. We might have to we might have to allow her prescription, but she should have been nope, lock that bitty bitch up. She should have been she should have been crazy before that. And she had them real I'm sick of white people getting a reverse diagnosis after they ask to get in trouble. Fuck that. She should have she should have been she should have been in my class. She can't come back to school and y'all put her in my class. What she look like now she in my class now cause she didn't stab somebody up. Bitch, get your ass out of here. Still in my graham crackers. Okay. And then Morgan said she heard a twig crack when I wasn't moving. So I think there's no question that Slender Man and their belief in Slender Man played a role. Man, don't get me on no bullshit. I believe Old Dog and Lil Ricky being shot in the back played a role with why Jerome Pop Leroy. Shut your bitch ass up. All these passes. Lock them bitches up. Um, in their decision making on that day. Even the victim was able to say that during the time she was friends with Morgan, Morgan was quite obsessed with Slender Man. But I believe at the time they did think it's either kill Peyton or our family is going to be killed by the Slender Man. Okay, okay. How can you use this example when a lot of people believe if you don't put it in work for the gang, they'll put it in work for you. 
Fuck this shit, man. Get me off subject. This was a whole different angle. I'm so I didn't change my whole tune. <laughs> I had to record it for you now, but get I was I was riding with these bitty bitches. Now that's why that's why this is a fake investigation because I learned so much more just by watching something twice. Now I watched half of this twice and I already went in 180. And I know a real investigation. I would have to uh, look over the evidence at least six or seven times. In fact, after the stabbing, the girls walked about five hours before they were found. Where were they headed? Where they was headed, she was going to stab your bitch ass at a different crime scene, you dumb bitch. You got tricked. And after this was admitted, that she wanted to walk to Slender's. You, you, see, Morgan you see how you see how there's one mastermind? You see how there's one mastermind? Uh, I can join a, I could be in the dun Dungeons and Dragons, and I can go join a Dungeons and Dragons group, and I can have these great imaginary where we keep on pushing the envelope, keep on pushing the envelope. Then I can secretly sneak in a motive or hidden agenda into the game. If my goal is to get you a speeding ticket, I could take this retarded bitch and we could play Bo and Luke Duke and go get some Taco Bell. And I bet you I can get her to speed. Don't play with me. This is a mastermind in this. And it's that other little bitty bitch called Morgan that for some other reason she stabbed Bella. And Anissa aren't like other 12 year olds. Morgan would be diagnosed with schizophrenia and Anissa with delusional disorder and depression. When you put two people together that have these, you know, mental challenges, they can feed off each other. And I think the fact that you had two 12 year olds who both had some mental disorders, they really connected. And okay, 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 okay. When did these begin? So show me in their school files because I wouldn't get that pass. And you know what? You could find that in my school files. Had me riding on them small buses hiding in the back. Dude in a football helmet drooling on me. But I tell you one thing. Macking was a lot easier. And I apologize right away. That was inappropriate and funny as hell. <laughs> when they're connected together like that, everything becomes more real. Is this a case of mentally ill, confused children who didn't know what they were doing? Or rather, an excuse for a meticulous, cold, premeditated act. After all, the girls discussed this attack on Peyton for months beforehand. The fact that this is so incredibly premeditated uh, over a six month period of time makes the whole thing even more shocking. One of the plans was actually duct tape her mouth so she couldn't make any noise and then stab her out of sleepover. And the reason they didn't do that is they had skated and been out that evening and they were tired. A search of Geyser's home revealed more. There were internet searches for how to get away with murder and what kind of insane am I? And then there was the matter of what was found in Morgan's room. The Barbie dolls and the notebooks and the drawings, they're so dark and they're intense and they're disturbed. There were so many signs. It really looked like what she was reading about Drawing. But these, but these bitches was in regular school and the parents and all that shit. Not, so, so y'all discovered this after they just stabbed up the other bitch, huh? Nah, homie. Nah, nah. Put this way, put this way. Just like crack, it, they was criminals. Crack now, now everybody. Now it's a, uh, it's a, it's a hospital problem. Now, nah, nah. We just gotta be consistent. If we ain't taking care of mental health issues, we ain't taking care of mental health issues. If crack. It makes you a bad person, so does pills. So does meth. If you belong in jail for crack, you belong in jail for pills and meth. Marco. Welcome to my channel. My name is Marlon Heavily. This channel is dedicated to the Sherlock Homies. If you don't have this book, you are not a Sherlock Homie. That's my book, The Edict of Marlon. It's a daily journal on my thoughts and rituals for every day of the year. Information below. We don't count subscribers here. We don't count views. We don't count likes. We count Sherlock homies. 
So if you don't have my book, this video, this channel is not for you. Wait, you can be an affiliate. You just can send me a text within the last 30 days. You can send me an email or write a letter or donate one dollar. I have to donate one dollar within the last 30 days. You're a Sherlock affiliate and you're welcome. But if you're not a Sherlock affiliate, you're not a Sherlock homie, you got a bounce partner. No, no, no. All right. So next time, people, I'm out. More fucking polo. Let's get through this. This sort of a, a precursor to what was going to happen. There are parts of Morgan and Anissa's stories that appear to line up. Last thing she said to me, to, to me was, I trusted you. And then she said, That's a false positive when they admit to playing the game. They just tell them the truth about the game and what everything happened. The alibi is built into the game. So you guys are using a false pair of positive to show they're telling the truth. They're telling the truth about what happened based upon the imaginary game. So when I play an imaginary game with you, I got one of the best imaginations in the world. Call me to testify. And I will show you how you build up the suspend reality. But you must ground yourself in saying this is not real when you start. Once you consciously start building up your, your uh, imagination and, and getting lost in your imagination, you must be grounded in that's what you're doing. All one of them bitches did is ground herself in the sneak evil shit and she wanted in the imaginary game while the other girl with her didn't ground herself in that reality. So we can sit in, so, so, so this is bullshit because it's just a mind game that I think one person was grounded in. And I know how the imaginary nation works. Like I said, we can play Bo and Luke Duke and I can get you to speed. I can get you to go 70. If we play the game long enough, every time we drive to Taco Bell, I can get you to jump your car off a ramp. Especially, they said six months. If we're playing Bo and Luke Duke the right way, it won't take six months for us to have that 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 old school at the dirt doing donuts in the dirt. I can make you take your nice car that you don't even want to drive in the rain, and we'll be doing donuts in the sand in it within a week. And we have paint a, a O1 and a Dixie flag on the top of that cutlass. Play with me. I'm a professional creator. Imagination. This is bullshit. Oh, this is funny as hell. This is funny as hell. Here's it. Here's how. Here's how. I'm gonna give you proof of a real story. My net, my imagination been off the chain. Okay. Uh, growing up, uh, we lived next door to this white dude named uh, Jeffrey. He was on the spectrum, but I was on the spectrum too. So uh, Jeffrey, they owned their house. So basically, Jeffrey was a white. Uh, Come from white, like the only white family on the street. He was our neighbor, and they had like the nicest house, and they owned their house, and they basically just was they was young, compared to uh, my my mom. So long long story short, he was he was slow like I was slow, so I'm not making fun of him. But he didn't go to regular classes more than I did it. So I guess we knew each other because we was in the same class. How about that? How about that? We both had issues. So long story short, but they had everything, man. They had all the candy. They had all the Doritos. They had everything. They had the they had the blueberry pancakes. Like they had it. Like over there, that was like Disneyland next door, and nobody knew it but me because he couldn't really play with nobody in the neighborhood but me. So uh, long. I got a lot of stories connected to Jeffrey in that house, especially uh, uh, that's they they had the and Jeffrey's dad had them Playboys. Popping. That's when I. That's when I discover uh, uh, what that stuff was. I digress. So uh, being that they had everything, man, I'm coming over. Uh, Jeffrey want to play with the little uh, track. I'm like, what's popping with them Doritos? Fuck that. Fuck it. Like I said, he had so many toys. It make no fucking sense. It's like, I digress. So so I used to play this game. Whereas he always just wanted to play. They had all that young play. Man, let's cook that pizza. You can't work the stove. <laughs> let's get that. Let's pop with that pizza in there. Y'all got like 10 pizzas in there. Do your mom let you cook or you don't? Damn. Damn, okay. Fuck. Give me that He-Man. Long story short, I used to play this game. So I started thinking because we, we should always play. Then I 
then I came up with this game I used to always do. I used to, we used to be playing right, and I used to freeze and stick my hand out when I freeze. So I, uh, that was a subconscious game. I started this game where I freeze. He used to have to run to get the little candy thing and get a whole bunch of candy. He had to put a piece of candy in my hand. Then I recreate. I, re I come back, and then we start, we start playing again. And uh, I used to do that all the time. Like, every time I freeze in my hand, like, as it was like, like I was like a robot. And I needed a now later to fix me. <laughs> That's a true fucking story. I used to pause, and I, would, I wouldn't work. I couldn't play no more until I got a now later. <laughs> so, I tell you, I'm crazy, and I, ha I have a great imagination. And uh, this, is, this is bullshit, man. Morgan was grounded in reality, and he... And she used the suspension of reality for other hidden agendas. I see you. Things just like I hate you guys. I'll never forgive you, and I trusted you. Yet when it came to who's actually the mastermind and stabber, they pointed the finger at one another. And you just told me we had to. Why? Because she said that he'd kill our families. So back in December, January, Morgan um, yeah. told you, like, hey, we, we hey, should be... Hey, that's why Morgan needs to get locked up. That proves I'm right. If everything was if everything was the truth until who did the stabbing, that proves I'm right. That proves I'm right that one of these bitty bitches was grounded in reality and uh, playing a, a imagination game. And I tell you one thing, if you got a real imagination... And you start messing with that imagination, you you better be grounded. You better be grounded. Oh, I'm just a jewel. I just thought about this. This is some cool shit. You know what? People's false beliefs that you might think might be wrong might come from them exploring their mind and possible truths out there without acknowledging where that can go. I'm going to repeat that because I just thought about that. Like, when people get lost, let it be religion, let it be a conspiracy theory, let it be a female. When you're not grounded into your perceived reality while investigating the unknown or checking out unknown things, your imagination can mix with reality to alter your reality. So I'm saying, if you was more one with yourself, you would know, dumbass, you do not love that bitch. But being you're not one with yourself, your imagination of that bitch not being, you think that bitch a queen, that bitch ain't shit. And you wouldn't know that if your imagination wasn't intertwined with that relationship but you don't even know your imagination exists that's why it gets manip it manipulates and alters the truth Ooh. Yeah. Morgan and I were also debating um, who does the deed Oh like uh, yeah, that's that. That's the breakdown of imagination. The breakdown of imagination, bitch. You better look at. I wasn't playing the game with you. I would trick you into fighting me to who gonna stab him first. I would take it to a different level. I would have a, a fail safe. I knew you would panic, you little bitty bitch. That's why I trick you like whoever does the stabbing gets Slender's man's blessings. I would have had a fail safe in there. I would have had us running to stab that bitch. And I would have had you win. Morgan jumped on top of Bella and started stabbing her repeatedly, and that's when I turned around because I couldn't stand to see that. And then we said that we were going to play hide and seek, and then I used the jumper. Who we'll stabbed her first? You I see, think, um, uh, 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 hey, hey, I think I, I think I, me fucking around, I think I found the psychopath. Little bitches could be psychopath too. I think she's a psychopath. She's lying her ass off. And take it from a, I'm a sociopath.
She's a psychopath. Uh, I think I said the right. I don't know. Uh, no, bitch. This works on average humans. No, bitch. No, 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 no. See, I'm here to testify. Oh, yeah, I'm Marlon Heavenly. Being that I'm a, uh, uh, I have a master's degree in imagination and uh, creative thinking. Uh, she's definitely using her uh, powers of of taking people from reality and manipulating them. And in this case, she used Slender Man. But uh, to prove my uh, point why uh, she was suspending others' reality with a story and a tale, why staying grounded herself, there's, there's, there's plenty of signs. The first sign I want to uh, bring you to uh if they actually believe that they had to do that for a uh, uh, a slender man, they both wouldn't have froze up when it was time to kill her because they should have believed that that's what they had to do and they was out there for that. But they uh they wasn't too far gone in their imagination to freeze up with the reality of what they was doing. They both snapped out of it if they was uh if they was trying to uh, argue who was go who was gonna do it. And the uh, on that statement, for them to change their stories with the uh, with the crime, it's not a crime until the uh, until the uh, stabbing, and for them to cover up the actual crime, meaning they the, uh, they wasn't too far gone in the story. You can say they're out the story, but the story is the story. If you realize it was actually like wasn't real the story still would remain the story so that shows deceit when it comes down to it and uh to touch on uh, morgan uh it seems like uh morgan was the one who uh slid in the hidden agenda to kill bella because now morgan is young so when it came down to it, the killing part, she panics in her story. I'm going to tell you how she panics in her story. Because even if it's true, she still panicked. Because now she goes in her creative bag, her imaginary bag, and pulls out another game. So by her mentioning hide and seek, even if they mention hide and seek, it's true that they did. That shows you that she weaponized her imagination. Cause you need imagination like that's another that's another game on the spectrum of imagination so so that proves that she was using the imagination as a weapon and i don't know if any of that makes sense so i need to uh take a break and just get through this shit marco no no lo she's a psychopath i think i found the psychopath i'm turning on morgan they buried the lead. Morgan's a psychopath. Polo. Hey, real quick. I make these videos for one reason. I'm sitting in mind. This is where I make my videos at. I make these videos for one reason. People who own my book, The Edict of Marlon. It's a 700 plus page book. Daily journal. My thoughts and rituals every day of the year. Information below. If you don't own that book, you cannot be a Sherlock homie. But you can be a Sherlock affiliate. All you have to do is write me a letter, send me a text, send me an email, donate one dollar, just one dollar. Within the last thirty days, you're a Sherlock affiliate. So if you haven't did that, if you don't own my book, you gotta get up out here, partner. It's not for you. We don't care about views. We don't care about subscribers. We don't care about likes. This is for my Sherlock homies. Appreciate y'all. Till next time. Tommy Hill figure with the happen style. Making these monthly plumbing holes in style. Tommy Hill figure with that. Okay, let's keep going. Chapter first and I continued and then and she was like, Marjorie, make sure she doesn't escape. And then I was like, uh Anisa said that she goaded help. I didn't have anything to do with the lying. Well, that was all Anisa. They did blame each other in terms of their perception of what happened and how it happened. I think they both were just trying to be honest, but they were also Nah bitch, nah bitch. Uh uh Morgan is dangerous. No, nope. Morgan's dangerous.
both quick to say, it wasn't just my fault, I didn't do this part, she did that part. When we come back, we're going to take a further look into the minds of these girls. And when I didn't know what I did, it was it sort of just happened. It didn't... Morgan's a psychopath. You guys want to keep on... Okay, maybe I need to uh, start uh, looking at juvenile cases. Morgan's a psychopath. If she retarded, she should have been diagnosed retarded. Get, I'll get this back. Quit. No. They found me in the second grade. This bitch can't be 12 and get diagnosed and still go to school and, and all that shit. Fuck her. She's a psychopath. It feel like anything. It was like air. Like I said, it was like air. Did you think that you actually had to kill somebody? And, and, and she's just a dumb bitch. I'm just, hey, people, you guys gotta relax. If I'm gonna let you guys into my world, I just joke all, I just joke. I joke, you know, and, and uh, a bitch is not connected to the sex of a person. I call more guys bitches than I do girls. But that don't matter. You guys just gotta relax. So I'm gonna invite you guys into my world. Don't be trying to make it your world. In my world, I joke all the time did not embrace the 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 uh the the negative energy of spending so much time doing negative stuff. I, I'm not inhaling these cases. I just blow it out. Blow it up. That shit have my lungs out. No, I'm not inhaling them cases. This bitch just retarded. Now the other bitch is a psychopath. You could be on the spectrum and be a psychopath. Because I think that has to go hand in hand because psychopaths can't be normal because they're a psychopath. So all psychopaths are on the spectrum. Just get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like, for real. Okay. Yeah. 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 Back in 2014, 12 year olds Morgan Geyser and Anissa Weyer admit to police that they stabbed their classmate Peyton Leitner to appease the fictitious online character known as Slenderman. But is one more was two Negroes in 2017 are being locked up for life for portraying a fictitious, I can't even say that. That's what you get for playing old dog, for watching Minutes of Society, for thinking gangs were cool. Twelve, two Negro boys believed this in, in Minutes of Society. Boys of the hood, they joined the gang and they felt like they had to kill or the gang was going to kill them. Them Negroes are getting life, George. Responsible for this than the other? And how exactly should they be punished? Morgan and Anissa's interrogation videos provided the first glimpse into what they were thinking. While both accounts were chilling. I see you, Morgan. You ain't hiding from me. I said, Morgan, you're not hiding from me. I see who you are, Morgan. There were startling differences. Morgan was cold. Morgan seemed completely unremorseful. Morgan seemed quite intelligent and quite manipulative. She seemed to really understand every single thing yeah. that was happening and had yeah. no guilt whatsoever for what yeah. she had done. I, yeah. You were careless. I knew this happened. I didn't see this part. I, I didn't get this far. That's the fucking exactly what I'm saying. I see Morgan. I see you, bitch. I knew we'd get in trouble. Why do you think it was your sleepover night then? Your because sleepover. it was, we were all, we would all be together. It was a flawless plan, actually. So she put the egg in your hand, or what'd you do? I just, just, I think you'd You know what happened, didn't you? Anissa was a bit different. Anissa came off as a 12-year-old child. She did express some, just a tiny level of remorse for the decision she had made. The whole time, Peyton was screaming and begging. So we told her we were going to get help, but we really weren't. We were going to run to let her pass away. You definitely have a feeling, I think, listening to those interviews, that Morgan was more responsible. That she was the one that actually did Hey, you look like a, Morgan looked like a motherfucking uh, super, uh, super villain. 
but they both said things that made it clear that they were in this together. They shared mental disorder, they shared loneliness, they shared obsession with, you know, dark, scary things, and it's the They shared the mental disorder diagnosed after the fact, and they're 12 years old already. Combination of the two of them that created this event. Morgan and Anissa are charged with attempted first-degree intentional homicide. In 2016, after a lengthy legal battle making it all the way to the Court of Appeals, it's determined both defendants, who are then 14 years old, are to be tried as adults. Yes. In this case, these two girls committed such a horrible crime that the view was they need to be punished. They tried to kill another 12-year-old. The problem with civil court um, or juvenile court is that once a child turns 18, the courts don't have control over that child anymore. And the concern is, is that a 12 year old um, at 18 may not be ready to be out on their own considering such a violent crime. The prosecution of these two girls for attempted murder became a national story with many appalled and in disbelief over the motive. Yet there were others who felt sympathy. The interrogations themselves ignited a ton of discussion. They don't understand what it means to be interrogated necessarily. They don't understand how they say things, their body language, what they say can be used against them. And so I think there's an inherent... She's looking like an evil, uh, evil uh, supervillain, like I said. No, 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 no. Bitch, is that blood on your coat? Do I believe, regardless of my belief that a parent should have been there, that both of them understood their rights? I think there's no question that Morgan did. Morgan is, I assume, of incredibly high intellect. She understood every single thing that was going down that day. Anissa, it's a bit less clear. Look, um, how, again, she, look how she's sitting. That's appropriate. And she's a female. Look where they're sitting. Go back to the other video. Look at, look at, look at they sit and bothers me. A child can understand um, those rights, but I think it's it's not quite as clear with Anissa as it is with Morgan. In 2017, Anissa changes the game. She agrees to plead guilty to attempted second-degree murder, but she wants a trial to determine if her mental illness excuses her from being criminally responsible and ultimately from winding up behind bars. The case against Anissa and Morgan was overwhelming. Um, but one thing that was okay. also, as far as... Okay, okay. You cannot use being retarded to get off if you wasn't retarded before the before the uh, before the incident, sorry, that's that bullshit. They were concerned. Overwhelming was the evidence of her mental disease or defect. The prosecution thought that they had evidence to establish that the mental disease or defect did not have a huge impact on the decision making of Anissa and Morgan. Their position was that Anissa didn't believe some of the issues regarding Slenderman until after the child had been stabbed. A majority of the jury would end up agreeing with the defense and decided that even though this was a violent, planned out crime, Anissa shouldn't go to prison. Instead, they say she needs treatment. So what they did find is by virtue of a mental illness or mental defect, she did not have the ability to know right from wrong. You have to realize it wasn't just one doctor or two doctors that found that Anissa had a mental health issue during the time that this crime happened. There was a third doctor. Hey, that th see how you just threw that in during the crime. So you know, hey y'all, instead of wasting time saying it every day, these videos are for Sherlock Holmes only. Sherlock Holmes, become a Sherlock Holmes is one way. You gotta have my book, The Edict of Marlon. There's no way, damn, I look rough. There's no way you're a Sherlock Holmes without my book. So, uh, but you can become a Sherlock affiliate. To become a Sherlock affiliate, all you have to do is send me a letter. Uh, send me an email, uh, send me a text, donate one dollar within the last uh, 30 days, you're a Sherlock affiliate. So if you're not a Sherlock affiliate, you're not a Sherlock homie, you gotta get up out here, partner. No, you, you gotta go. You gotta go. Same for you. Try snitching. That was rude. I was saying, she said at that time. So you know what? This is 2020. They gave that bitch some pills and she back in society. Man, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. How they 
go back in time to give themselves an excuse for a crime they did in the past. Like, in the future, you can't double back and diagnose, oh, that's some bullshit, man. Damn, but here's the crazy thing about it is, they don't have to play retarded their whole life. They don't have to play retarded their, their whole life. Third doctor was actually a doctor that was assigned by the court. That very same month, Morgan follows suit. She pleads guilty to attempted hey, first degree hey, attempt. Hey, hey, don't make me break this computer. If they give Morgan the same pass, you know what? This is what I'm going. This this is this is how it's going down. This is how it's going down. I got another platform now that uh, I'm building. I'm gonna suspend Sherlock Homeboy. This is all. This is my line coming into the meeting. Y'all making me watch this shit, and I'm getting pissed over here. I'm gonna make Sherlock Homeboy. Work on something else. For how long? How long? Hold on. Give me a second. This is serious business. Serious business. Hold on. Give me a second. Today is Saturday. Fuck that. If they let the psychopath off like they did the retarded bitch. I'm suspending Sherlock Homeboy from YouTube until next Saturday. If they give this bitch where she was too crazy. If they give this bitch the same hookup, Sherlock Homeboy is instantly suspended to next Saturday. Not upon finishing this video, upon hearing it, camera goes off, he's suspended to next Saturday. They better not. Matter of fact, before, this is a big step. I don't know what's going to happen. Let me hit this joint. So if they get this, this psychopath bitch, that same hookup, Sherlock suspended. Okay, you come back, Sherlock. Let's see. I was going, what y'all think? Y'all probably already know. I'm all slow. Y'all probably know. Nope. <coughs> <coughs> they better not give this bit <coughs> the same hook up. <coughs> they better not. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm ready, Your Honor. Hold on, let me, hold on, Your Honor. I'm ready for judgment. Like, I'm like the mother. I need to go put my glasses on like them suckers be doing once they get up in court. I'm ready, Your Honor. They about to read the results. I'm suspended for a week. And they hook this bitch up. Same way. Potential homicide. In this agreement, prosecutors don't fight the mental illness question. Instead, they resolve that she should remain at a psychiatric health facility. Legally, she was not held responsible. And that's a good outcome for somebody who has committed this crime. How long would Morgan and Anissa be committed to an institution? Anissa oh, hey, Sherlock, it's me, Marlon, your sponsor. I'm just going to tell you, nobody's supporting you, nobody sending donations. We think about not renew your contract. Have a nice day, fuckhead. Ha, <laughs> fuck you, Sherlock. Okay, 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 y'all. While I was packing up everything uh, for the week, uh, we was just letting it play, right? And uh, long story short, uh, Marlon told me... Uh, that I can continue. I will show up next week because it doesn't count. Because the judge slammed them bitches. Them judge the judge slammed them bitches. Gave one twenty five years in the institution and the other one's forty years in the institution. So the hookup worked all the way to the end. And you know what? Fuck the hookup. Treat me like I'm a sane 12 year old and them bitches have been out when they're 18 or 21 years old. So on that note, Marlon said, we're back, baby. We back. We don't got to go nowhere. The judge slammed them bitches. And I'm telling you what, this is when the hookup goes wrong. This is when the hookup goes wrong. Treat me as a, I am not retarded. I am not retarded. No. Oh, I'm sorry, Judge. I, I got me misconstrued. I'm a psychopath. 
I made all. It's time to come clean. It is time. You know what? I think the other bitch is retarded. But Morgan, Morgan, baby, you got to come clean. You got to come clean, Morgan. You got to tell why you want to kill Beck. You have to come. They gave Morgan 40 years. Can you imagine not being that crazy? But have to stay that bitch for 40 years. If they're true, they might let them out in two. You know how they get down. But I'm just saying, you got to come clean then, right? So this is where being a psychopath goes wrong. Morgan fucked up. So Marlon said, hey, hey, hey. They said, never go for, they told you in Tropical Thunder, you, you stupid bitch. Never go full retard. You must have installed Tropical Thunder. So this is when being a psychopath goes wrong. She tricked her way into a 40-year retard sentence. If she would have had a normal person, she could have got charged with attempted murder at 12, like a normal 12-year-old, and she would have been released in a worst-case scenario when she was 18 or 21. She went full retard and got 40 years. Marlon said, deal. You're back, Sherlock. Before the judge rendered his sentence, we heard from Anissa herself. I do hold myself accountable for this and that I will do whatever I have to do to make sure that I don't get any sort of delusion or... Nah, see, I think you need more help, but you still ain't crazy, bitch. You can't get to 12 without, without being in special classes for that type of break. But they fucked y'all. They fucked y'all. Now you got to play retarded for 25 years whatever again i want everybody involved to know that i deeply regret everything that happened that day i'll do whatever i have to do to make sure that this doesn't happen and i know you've heard that before and you're probably going to hear it again but it's the truth and i'm sorry i think those are great words but when you have any type of mental health issues there's a difference between thinking that, believing that, and saying that, and being willing and able to actually follow through with mental health treatment. Swire continues to believe that Slenderman is real. She also stated that as recently as July 2017, she believed that an evil spirit was pushing down her, on her bed after the spirit had been let out of a homemade Ouija board. She has continued to be stupid. influenced by peers. She has been convinced by another inmate who was a devil worshiper that her co-actor meaning uh, still playing retarded. Best. She's still playing retarded. What's best for the community may not be what's best for Anissa Wire. As much as we can sit back and say, I will never do that again. And I think it's sincere. I'm not criticizing her for saying it. We don't know. Anissa was ordered to spend the next 25 years in a mental hospital. You know, this judge recognized the seriousness of this crime. He also made it very clear that but for the grace of God, this child would have been dead. Two months later, Morgan had her sentencing. To let Ella and her family know, I'm sorry. interesting to see Morgan um, at her sentencing and how different she appeared than she had when she was first interrogated after the stabbing incident. She was more emotional, remorseful. Now, could that have been manipulation? Absolutely. But I, I took it to be real sincere uh, emotion for what she had done. She sounded so childlike. I just feel like her maturity to accept and handle the consequences was different than presented by Anissa. The circumstances of the wire case are different than they were in this case. The biggest underlying difference is the uh, long history of delusions. When she saw the Slender Man a silhouette, she said she recognized that as the, a man who had visited her throughout the years when she was three or four. She poses a significant risk of bodily harm to herself, others, or to property. The judge sentenced Morgan to 40 years of institutional care. Your Honor, Your Honor, uh, uh, hold on, hold on, time out, Your Honor. I just want to say, I'm a psychopath. I am not crazy. 
This is a trick. I, I want to kill B Bella. That bitch didn't even die. Okay? That bitch didn't even die. I want to kill uh, uh, Bella because she wouldn't let me fill her up. That bitch didn't even die. I thought she was going to tell people that I was a homosexual. And I'm not. I just, I don't know what happened, Your Honor. So I came, I'm a psychopath. I'm not crazy. This all been a trick. This all been a trick. I'm, I'm just, no, no, I tricked, I tricked her. I tricked her to help me because I just didn't like Bella anymore. I made all this stuff up. I made all them story time to come clean. No, sentence me like a normal 12 year old psychopath, Your Honor. I am not crazy. I am not spending 40 years acting like I don't know better. I did this shit on purpose and I tried to talk my way out because I'm a little psychopath. Now, can you please sentence me like a normal 12 year old? I'm beyond normal, Your Honor. My face don't even look like this. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm beyond normal, Your Honor. I'm smarter than the average 12 year old and I tried to outsmart everybody. Actually, I'm smarter than you, Your Honor. I am not crazy. Now, you sentenced me to to whatever you can as a 12-year-old. Fuck that hot sauce. That bitch did not die. I only stabbed her 16 times lightly. And you can't give me no fucking 40 years with all these crazy people. Because I'm, out, I'm outsmarting adults. I might be on the spectrum. But I knew what I was doing, and I tried to talk my way out. Quit playing with me, Your Honor. You better let me out when I'm 18, like you did, Leroy. Now Leroy got the hookup. Leroy out when he's 18. They slammed his ass. He was 12. They gave him 10 years. But they let him go when he was 18. I'm going to see you. i see you when you 53, bitch. Nope. Nope, because you what? You, you older now? Uh-uh. You're going to be 56. Morgan seemed to take a stronger role in regards to what went down that day. Um, and the judge may have just recognized that delineation along with the lack of remorse that she had shown all along. Oh, hell no. Nah. 40 years? I didn't even kill me a motherfucker. Oh, hell no. Nah. When being a psychopath goes wrong. Time of this taping, Morgan's lawyers are appealing the case, arguing that she should never have been tried as an adult. Peyton Leitner has moved on with her life with plans to enter into the medical field. But that doesn't mean she's forgotten what happened, nor won't pay attention to what happens next. Legally, both Morgan and Anissa can now petition every six months for conditional release from the hospital, with Anissa's case scheduled to be heard March 2021. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Being that I'm not stupid, I am not a stupid individual. I'm a fast learner. I'm a fast learner. In that last video, I was telling y'all about fake rituals of justice. I only play stupid on TV. I only play stupid on TV. And I was telling y'all how uh, sports is just war porn. They masturbating the, the warrior uh, gene out of um, us to keep us in line. I only play stupid on TV. I'm fast learning about this system. This is a fake ritual of justice. She's applying to be released in six months. Them numbers is for dumbasses like me. 25 years is for you dumbass white people and you dumbass black people. And it's, for, it's, it's, it's a fake ritual of justice while letting these bitches out the back door. I'm about to go back and listen to what they just said. Them numbers are not real. Only play stupid on TV. And Sherlock will be suspended, if I heard that correctly. ...on with her life, with plans to enter into the medical... He recognized that as a, a man who had visited her throughout the years when she was three or four. She poses a significant risk of bodily harm to herself, others, or to property. ...in regards to what went down that day. Um, and the judge may have just recognized that delineation, along with the lack of remorse that she had shown all along. At the time of this taping, Morgan's lawyers are appealing the case, arguing that she should never have been tried as an adult. Peyton Leitner has moved on with her life with plans to enter into the medical field. But that doesn't mean she's forgotten what happened, nor won't pay attention to what happens next. Legally, both Morgan and Anissa can now petition every six months for conditional release from the hospital, with Anissa's case scheduled to be heard 
March 2021. Here's the reason why I might consider early release. Number one, their behaviors while they're in the facility. Number two, their diagnosis and treatment plan. Are they able, capable of maintaining a treatment plan so that if they are released early, they can be... On 25 and four year sentences, you just you, you guys are putting them in a uh, a rehab until they're eighteen. Expected not to commit another without jail bars, internet, all of that. But both Morgan and Anissa could eventually get out. Keep in mind that the judge has to make a determination as to how dangerous each of those individuals are in the community. One only needs to look back at the interview, particularly the interview of Morgan. Anyone who watches that video will never think it's safe to have this girl out of a mental health facility. Three lives changed forever by one moment. It's a haunting story for many reasons, and it's one that could have resulted in something far worse. And with legal developments still up in the air, it's a story that's still being written. That's all we have for you on Prime Prime. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Bitch, that, that, that last lady, uh, you know what? I'm ready to rule. That last lady statement about how nobody's probably going to want her out again. That was pretty good. I'm throwing that out. I'm throwing that out. I'm going to throw that out on my ruling. I'm going to throw that out on my ruling. The other girls are already talking about practicing uh, the, all that shit when she get out. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Let me Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me rule. Let me rule. I don't even play stupid on TV. Let me rule. Is this a loophole of justice? It was this a ritual? Was this just like, was this a good sports game? When I keep telling y'all motherfuckers that what sports is, even though I make a living off of it, I keep telling y'all these motherfuckers, that's, that's, that's just porn. It's church. Let's keep you in line. Let's master, take your little war dick and jack, masturbate it off. Keep that war gene, keep you in line, give you tribal, tribal in this. It's, it's a trick. It's a uh, form of control. So uh, everything is rituals and for a reason. Was this a uh, ritual of justice with a back door to the actors? Like they doing over there in fucking uh, Utah? Was this, was this a magic trick of justice? Hold on. They they threw out when they throw out twenty five and forty years, that that means something, that means something, that that's like the masturbation. I bust a nut when they said forty years. I was going forty years. Yes, that bitch. Is a, no, that was the masturbation because they both would not be in jail by their twenty first birthday. And this is getting out when she's eighteen. She's already petitioning. She could be out before she's 18. The, the other girl, they said they're going to give her 40. Uh, she should be out by the time she's 21. So they told me 25 and 40. One's going to be out in two years. And one's going to be out in 40. All right. Sherlock Homie is suspended to next Saturday. All right, people. I'll see y'all next weekend. I'm out. What up, people? Another dumb video of the book. That stupid shit. This is supposed to be my commercial. Check out my book, The Edict of My Line, available everywhere you buy books. If you get if you get my book from me, The Edict of My Line, from the merch store, it's 25% cheaper and it's always signed. Thanks for your support. And this channel sucks ass. <laughs> I'm out.